Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Zeshul, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download the Tweakeroo mod by Masadi. To be able to use this mod, you're going to need the Fabric Mod Loader, which uh, here's a tutorial in the description of how to download it. But yeah, this mod helps with a lot of things. Later in the video, I'll be explaining what each thing is, but yeah, let's get into the installation process. Open up Google, go in the search tab, and look up Tweakeroo, like this. Now, the first link says CurseForge. Click on that one. This link will also be in the description. Now, go down to the Files tab right here. Click on it. Scroll down to the versions list and find which version you're on. So I'm on 1.17.1, so I'm going to click on that. Once that's finished, you're going to want to click on the download thing right here. Wait for it to download, and the thing should pop up right here. There we go, it'll be in your downloads folder. Press save, and now it's downloaded. Once you've downloaded the your version here, go to the description tab, and then scroll down, and as you can see, you need the Malib library mod. So click on that, and then download this mod as well. Get your version that you need. Click download. Now go to your downloads folder, get your tweakeroo mod, Drag it onto your desktop. There it is. Now, scroll down to your Minecraft folder. I'll leave a link in the description how to find your Minecraft folder. Once you're there, go down, scroll down until you find your mods folder. Now, take your Tweakeroo mod and put it into here. Also, put the Malib mod into that folder. Now, open up Minecraft. Once you're at your Minecraft launcher, get your Fabric 1.17.1 press play, and get your game to load up. Okay, once you've loaded into Minecraft, just head into one of your worlds. Okay, now you've loaded into Minecraft, the first step you want to do is uh, press X and C. This will open up this uh, list here. It says Tweakeroo Configs. So there's a lot of different tabs that do a lot of different things. So let's start off with the Tweak Toggles, which is the main thing. You can go through each one of these things if you want. If you hover over it, it'll show what it, what it does. But I'm just going to be telling you about the most useful ones that I use in my daily gameplay. Okay, so creative extra items. This, if you press, you can press true or false on here. Once that is set to true and you go into your creative mode, it, once you go to transportation, then you'll see things like uh, structure blocks, command blocks, barrier blocks, dragon eggs, all the things that you normally can ob obtain in survival. Okay, next thing I'm going to be showing you is, uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of different things here that can do very, a lot of definitely uh, useful things, like hold use, if you hold, have that on, it'll make it so that you hold down right click, and this isn't like auto click or anything, that comes later. See? Like you, you're not able to, you're not able to god bridge with this or anything. It just holds down your, your uh, left right click. Uh, next thing is tweak gamma override. See this here? Uh, if this is set to true, it'll make it so that your gamma is always set to the lightest it can be. So if I make it nighttime, see right now it's kind of dark and so. And if I go inside of a little hole here, it's uh pretty much pitch black. Now, if I turn on, you can also search up here. If you turn on gamma override, you're now able to see. So it'll still be nighttime, but it'll just be like super bright. Now, uh, do note that if you go into your video settings and then change this, it'll reset it. But yeah, you can always just go back to here on off. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is hotbar scroll. Basically what this does, if it's set to true, Okay, so go over here to generic hotkeys, and then look up hotbar scroll, and I've set it to G here. Now if I hold down G, I'm able to scroll through my, with my scroll wheel. I'm able to like that one, for example. Now I have this hotbar. This one, I can like swap through these, and then I can also go to this one, that one, like that. This is a very handy feature if you've got like um, tools and so here, like that, for example, and then 
you want to have other like building blocks if this hotbar is full of building blocks and you want to fight someone you can just go like that fight them and then go back to building with your stuff a lot of these uh, features as well are like small ones like remove own potion effects there's particles coming off of me but then when i'm in first person you don't see them yeah this uh has a lot of different features in it but i'm not able to cover all of them because there's there's like a very 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 lot amount of them um there's also a few that are i would say a little bit kind of cheaty uh one of them is the fast left click and fast right click these could be exploited, so don't use them on the servers that you like playing on, because you could get banned. I mean, on survival servers, probably not, but like, Hypixel, for example, if you're, if you're, if you're going around like this, just like, it's, this is pretty much just an auto-clicker. You can place, like, as fast as you want. Go to fast left-click, which is also pretty much an auto-clicker, where you can break everything as fast as you want. Uh, once again, do not use this on PvP servers, because you will most likely get banned. You have been warned. I have tried it before, and uh, I got banned, so don't do what I did. There's another one called, uh, this is, I think, one of the most cheaty. It's called uh, Free Camera. I, if you set it, you can set it to whatever you want. I have it set to R. But basically, this is like free look, like from the hack clients. So if I press R then I am out of my body, so I can walk around, do, or not walk around, but uh, fly around, look at stuff. I can't right click ch chests or shulker boxes or hit people or break blocks or interact with anything, but I can just fly around as, as far out as your loaded chunks go. But when you press R again, you're back to your player. Your player doesn't actually move anywhere, but you're able to look around and see where you are. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, it wasn't very in-depth or anything, but yeah, it's just kind of the minimum. So if you want to like, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more in-depth tutorials about mods or things like that, uh, leave a comment or like it or subscribe. Also subscribe to my main channel because that's where I make like vlogs and I put way more effort into that. But yeah. Feel free to look through all of these mods, go look through each of the tabs, see what you think. You can It's really customizable, you can do a bunch of different things. Feel free to try that out. Feel free to give me some advice in the comments if you thought there's some things that I could add to this video or things I could have done better, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been Zeshul, you're special.